everyone how are you doing not too hot today we had some bad storms last night turned out pretty good today a little humid out here but it's not 98 degrees today I need to get something finished I told my mother-in-law it's gonna have this done before she gets back and she's gonna be back in a couple days and since it is clear outside now or clearer I'm gonna get it done I don't know if you can see right here but I got Two posts right here. Kind of neat little ring there, isn't it? Okay, that's enough of that. All I'm gonna do is be making a handrail so she can come out of these steps. You know, it's only just a couple steps down out of the door to her room behind me. Okay, the step coming out of this door, it's not, it's not all that big of a step, but you know, when you're getting close, you know, your mid 70s. Hey, you need a little help sometimes, and so for her safety, we decided we was going to put a handrail up here. So we looked online and thought, hey, we'll just get a guardrail, you know, a handrail type thing to put up here when they pour the concrete. Wow. Too expensive. And I do things cheap, so we had to figure out something else to do. So I was just kind of talking with my wife. We was going over it, and she said, well, can you get a couple fence posts or something and maybe do something there? As soon as she said that, I was like, wow, it just clicked in my brain. Get a couple corner posts for a chain link fence, like one of these right here. And just put them out here in the ground so when they pour the concrete, and put that other step in right there. I said, hey, just concrete those two posts in there, and I'll make the handrail from there. That saved a little bit of money. So my idea on this is... I'm gonna take these right here they're just like you know that top rail that runs along a chain link fence this here's what that goes into this here clamps onto one of these things like right here so you just put a screw through there and it tightens up but I'll just cut that there to the length and it'll go from right here down to here before she left, I just had her step outside the door and say, hey, what's comfortable for you when you come out? Where do you, where do you want to put your hand at and it go down, you know, to, to be the perfect height for her? Because it's different for everybody. And since her door, her room, hey, her steps, let her figure it out. So I just kind of looked at it, put a mark there, put a mark down here. It's not much of a downward slope right there but she's comfortable coming out of the door there and then right here stepping up from the concrete she's comfortable grabbing that right there so let's get started okay as you can see here I took one of those bands and put around this post here and put in one of those I guess like kind of like a socket right there a little keeper put one in there then I put one over here on this side here now I need to take that and measure that distance in between it so I can cut that post over there to be the handrail let's see let's get a better measurement here put it there 25 inches so I'll get that top rail over there and I'll cut it out 25 inches and then I'll come back and try to wedge it in between these right here to make a handrail measure 25 inches here right there now we got to cut this
All right, 25 inches. Well, the wind's picked up out here, so hopefully it doesn't bother too much. I'm gonna loosen these up, but not all the way. Just enough that I can probably get those in there, but that ain't gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one off, take one almost off, put it in there, put that one in there. And just work it down. And let's see, line up with that line right there. And come on down some more. Line up with that line right there. Up. Is that straight? There we go. We now have a handrail in there. But I can't leave them tops on there. Or should I? Nah. I got caps for those. See? Little caps that'll go up there. But I gotta cut this off still. I'm just gonna do an inch to be nice. Now, what are the odds that I'm going to be able to cut these straight across? Well, I'll just try to hold it level and go. Whoa! That ain't level. Oh well, I got one more try. Yeah, that's pretty close. Now, got one there. And got one there. So that there is a cheap way of making a handrail. If you don't want to spend two, three hundred bucks or even, you know, 150 bucks for a flimsy one, this here is probably the route to go. Probably about 30 bucks in this right here. You know, it's nothing fancy, but it's going to work. It's cheap. That's all I am is cheap, so I like it cheap. I like everything cheap, as long as it works.
Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Nothing big. I just thought I'd show, you know, how I do things. You know, I'm piddling around, around here, just doing things, and just a way to get things done cheaper, saving money. I ain't got no money, so I got to save what I have. And that there's just a cheap way of making a handrail. Well, thanks for watching, and see ya!